Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Bebby and today we are going to play some Villagers. This is a, a city building game where you have to build yourself a prosperous settlement. I always like these uh, simulated strategy games. The game is due to on 25 March 2016. What we're going to do is, uh, I suppose, is we're going to play the campaign. I've done some free play but there's really not much sense in doing that. Let's go and hit campaign. Uh, I obviously did my did some things myself, but we're just going to start with chapter one, and we're just going to start at the beginning. Now, there's going to be a lot of text, and I think we'd be better off to just skip this, because this is the law behind everything, I suppose. Not that interesting. Um, I suppose we want to watch or see what the game is actually all about, what the mechanics are. How it looks, how it feels, how it tastes. Maybe not so many sensory things, but you understand what I mean. Alright, these are dark times, which uh, is why we should view this opportunity as a particularly precious one. Uh, there's going to be dialogue from people uh, all throughout the campaign. I generally just uh, dismiss what they say, and you can, you can, you can read... Uh, you have an overview of what they have said... Uh, right after they have said it, so you don't actually need to read the texts. You just have to follow these instructions. It, ca it doesn't get much easier than that. Let's make the town hall um, close by the water. I think it's actually what, what it says. Nearby water source, yeah. And then we're going to get our villagers and they are going to start um, constructing that town hall. And from there, this is going to be our base of operations. And, uh... It doesn't look like much, but it's going to be an awesome town hall, right? Now, luckily, we do have the um, we have the possibility of increasing game speed, which uh, makes things a less a bit less tedious for us. I mean, in the meantime, when these guys are doing their job, we can't do that much. Okay, um, let's see what we are supposed to build right now. You're a master casting your followers back into the bleak and barbaric time of the Dark Ages. Thank you very much. What we are going to have to do is we're going to have to gather resources. And the first resource that we're going to have to gather is going to be wood. And this all um, to go and collect ourselves, well, wood to uh, construct buildings so that people can live in these buildings. Uh, that does make a lot of sense to me. In the meantime, these guys are going to sleep in front of the building. And I enabled an option that makes time pass five times as quickly uh, when people are sleeping. So that, that that makes things a lot less tedious. I like these options. Um, let's go with regular speed for one moment. We can assign someone as a warehouse. And that person is going to gather those resources and bring them automatically to the town hall. I find this to be very useful. It, it's very annoying when you uh, want to build stuff. And people will have to gather the resources from the ground and get to a place to actually uh, um, bring those resources to, to those place from a place where it's actually um, yielded. Alright, it seems like we have enough uh, wood to create one small house. And uh, finally we're going to have to build three, but for now one is going to do. Let's see, build three houses. I need to fell more trees so that everyone can get a roof over their heads. It does seem it does seem nice to me to have a roof over your head, yeah. Let's go with five times speed, just for now. And I'm going to assign these guys to gather as much wood as possible because I don't know how much more wood we're going to need. Well, actually, I do know because I did play this level. <laughs> don't go and tell that. Um, but yeah, I do know that we are going to have to gather quite some wood to um, pass this um, tutorial level. Alright, there we go. It's night time. Let's go and have ourselves some rest. I think what we can do is we can read this because in the time being, you know, it, it does take quite some time to gather all that wood. It doesn't matter whether you're big or small, strong or weak, as smart as a, in a whip or as dumb as a box of rocks. At the end of the day, everyone is conquered by this one simple thing. Please, a wisdom from a foolish bard. Please enlighten us. The answer is hunger, and when your stomach is reveling, there's no way you're thinking straight. 
this is a, a nice introduction into um, into our new task, and that is going to build uh, to have to build. Uh, well, let's wait actually. Oh, okay. It says it already. We're going to have to build a jetty to um, get ourselves some fish. I mean, it does make uh, some sense to have to collect food. You know, uh, you want your villagers to survive. And we, what is neat is when you want to place down this building, it does automatically uh, position the building as straight as possible. It kind of helps you out. It's pretty damn nice. Let's go and place that there. And I want to increase game speed once again. Because we are not done with our previous task. And that was to uh, build ourselves three houses. We only have one at the moment. And I do not think... No, we don't have enough wood to build yet another one. We need a staggering... 20 pieces of wood to build one house. So yeah, that doesn't do the trick. Not even close. Now, one thing that these uh, guys have been doing uh, automatically is gathering water. And they do that from the nearest source of water. Eventually, we'll be able to build a well. But for now, they are going to take their water from the river. I can't imagine that being uh, too healthy. But, you know, it's it's a game. I guess back in these days, rivers were less contaminated, although I, uh, I highly doubt whether that's true or not. Let's see, though. Yeah, we're not done with that jetty yet. Uh, let's see if we can build that house. No. No one is gathering resources. I'd say we put this on speed 10, and things should be over in no time? I think, at least. Hmm. Huh. Ah, there we go. Uh, we'll have to go and assign some people as fishers, though. There we go. Let's go with speed 5 as we read this. Incredibly large, immensely powerful, and inconceivably magnificent. What are you talking about your ego? That... I, I never can read these letters. <laughs> I know they're stylish and all. See, this is annoying. It puts it back to speed 1 automatically. What catswallop? I'm describing the fish that I'm going to pull out of the water when the new jetty is built. Send me two villagers from the town hall and we'll catch a feast to remember. I've actually already done that. Uh, let's go and dismiss this. We've done so already. We're back at speed 10 because it does take quite, uh, quite a while to gather our resources. That is one thing um, I find a little bit tedious in this game uh, so far. Let's see. We are going to need two more houses. That's not on pause, actually. There we go. That is going to be our second house. Not our first one. We already have one. But in the meantime, we're going to be gathering some more wood. Ten more pieces, and that'll do the trick. See, this is... Uh, <laughs> it does take quite a while, right? All right. Is there any greater pleasure in life for a man than building his own house? We're on the second house already. We're making process, Oberlin. All right, thank you very much. I think that that is me, Oberlin, uh, by the way, because you have to choose your sex between a man and a woman, of course. And I don't think it gives you an option to change. I think it does give you the option to change your name. I just didn't do it. I'm just Oberlin. I think that's fine. It suits me. <laughs> I, I'm very content with that name. Yeah, so far, I, I kind of like the look of the game. I wish they'd tweak some things, because as, as of now, they're, they're, I, I'm already um, bumping into things that are tedious, which is, for example, the gathering system. And it's not good, in my opinion, to have that um, appear or being apparent this stage of the game uh, already so yeah we're gonna have to do something about that okay small house uh, but lots of peace and quiet I think we've built enough houses for the moment we should have a rest all right we have a town hall a jetty some food and a roof over our heads well that's certainly a start to be honest it's more than I expected a young man organizing a whole village well we live in an age where I would never have thought it was possible, and it's certainly not something you see every day. It's time to set your preconceptions aside, my good man Schultenice. 
I know how to use my head. Just like every other person. That's that's us for the... Of, <laughs> just for, as a matter of fact. Okay. You know what, Hursel? Oberlin has filled miserably. What are you talking about? Don't feel like continuing my story. I need something to wet my whistle. Quick, bring this man a flagon of ale. A grumpy writer needs to drink to be able to tell a decent story. And of course, uh, yeah, okay. Um, this is just going to lead us to our next task, so let's just skip ahead, right? So it's true, I presume that Albrechtus, wow, these German names, eh? Had been having a laugh, but the fool really did give an inexperienced youngster the job of planning the city. My well, good lord, are you Benlin, the king's supreme city planner? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, just give me my task. We're going to have to gather some stone. And as you might be able to tell, we can see stone all around the map. I think we can actually... Yeah, let's go and cancel this selection over here. D there's no need in gathering wood anymore. Uh, it's kind of what... But yeah, um, as far as the tutorial level 1 goes, uh, there's no more use in gathering uh, wood. So we're just going to be gathering stones at the moment, or for the time being. And we're going to have to build a bridge. We're going to need quite some stone for that. As a matter of fact, let's have a little look. It should be on the general. We... Oh, we do need uh, more wood. Okay. It's it's not that much more. But it is two more pieces of wood. There we go. That, sh that should suffice. There's an easier option which gives you... Um, or, or an easier button which gives you the option to gather all resources. But... I don't know. I like to do it um, apart from each other. It, it gives me a better overview of what I uh, am going to gather. All right. We do have that warehouse still assigned. All right. That's all good. We're almost at our 30 stone. There we go. All right. The bridge should be available. Uh, one thing that I find quite odd is also um, is that... Once you're going to build a building, all settlers are going to be focusing on that. Um, it's kind of odd. I think there should be um, a way to assign villagers to, to, to go and do construction work. Um, I mean, I get it that idle citizens would... Um, well, I guess it's just idle citizen actually, uh, that do that. So, maybe my complaint was without reason. <laughs> all right. Let's go and increase time, because it's going to be night in no time. There we go. Our village is going to bring the resources all the way to the bridge uh, construction site. And it's going to take a long time, believe me. We've only brought three pieces of wood so far. I wish there was um, a way to carry more uh, resources at, to, towards that site. I think that... What do you call those carts? Yeah, just just a cart. So that, was, that would do... The trick quite well, I'd say. So yeah, this um, this icon you saw right there means that we don't have tools, I believe. But uh, uh, so far, there's not, not really a way to get ourselves tools. So we shouldn't be um, concerned with that. As for the function of the houses, by the way, they serve to increase your population. So if you have uh, one male, one female in one house... They're going to make a baby. That's very surprising. Uh, but yeah, that's a way for you to increase your population. Let's see, what do we cover uh, more? Yeah, well, the, the gathering, uh, you do that through the gathering tab. Production buildings, we have built our first production building as well. And I think we, uh, we learned a thing or two about the game. It's pretty general. It's not that hard to understand. Um... From what I've seen, it's a bit tedious. It does take quite some time gathering your resources. But I do believe, because I've seen this in the free play mode, uh, there are faster ways to collect your resources. So uh, that's going to be unlocked o over the course of this game, obviously. And I don't know what I'm going to do after I finish the campaign. Uh, I think I'm just going to do free play. But a bridge is finished, and I think that's also the end of the first level. Ah, it gives me great pleasure to inform you that the sturdy stone bridge is now complete. I can walk over it without my scar tingling. Uber, oh no, Abelin, no, Oberlin, Oberlin. It's 
My goodness, it's... What's going on, Ewalt? Take a deep breath and calm down. What's wrong? In our settlement, one of our labourers, he's got... He's got the plague. What? He's got a fever and these strange patches on his skin. It's just as I predicted. You've got to do something, Oberlin, and fast. And you're sure you're not mistaking? You're absolutely sure? Right, that's um, that's quite the problem. We're going to have to deal with uh, <laughs> the Black Death, I assume, um, next mission. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I'd like to see you guys around. I'm going to um, make a series out of this. So make sure to subscribe if you want to follow up on uh, this game. Again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, have a good one. Cheers.